Hello friends, my name is Paresh and you're watching Tech Dynamics. In this video, we are going to explain how you can create and configure Office 365 groups and what does it do. So keep watching and stay tuned. Now, Office 365 groups allow non-dynamic 365 users to collaborate from the document management perspective. For example, sales proposal delivery timelines review by purchase department. Now, you are not going to buy a separate license for your purchase department who just want to see what are you sending in the sales proposals. So this is just a generic example to give you an idea. However, let's look what are the steps to configure the Office 365 groups. So step number one is you need to configure SharePoint server based integration. If this is not enabled, then you need to go ahead and manually enable it. I have already discussed this process in one of my previous videos for which I have provided the link in the description. So you can go ahead and have a look at that video. Now the step number two is to install Office 365 group solution from Dynamics 365 admin center. I will show you how to install that and how to enable the solution. Step number three is to set up Office 365 Groups integration settings. You need to define the entities for which you would like to enable this feature. And also if you want to auto create groups for these entities. And finally, the step number four is to create Office 365 Groups for the records. So let's go ahead and have a look how it works. All right, so we are in our Dynamics 365 environment and over here, we'll go to our settings page. So the new way to go to the settings page is by clicking on the cog and clicking on advanced settings. And over here, we can see our settings page and let's just have a look if we have Office 365 group available. So if you look over here, we do not see the Office 365 groups available, which means that the solution is not yet installed and enabled. So for that, we need to go to our admin settings. So we can go to our admin settings over here and we can go to our admin centers and let's go to Dynamics 365 admin center. I have to select the instance and then click on the edit button against the solutions over here. So if I click on that, it will show me all the solutions which are available and the ones which are installed and ones which are not installed. So I'm going to search for Office 365 groups. So if I go further, I will see that there is a solution called Office 365 group available, but it is not yet installed. So to install that, I need to select the solution and click on install. And then over here, I need to accept the terms of service and click on install. So this might take a little time to install. And once it is installed, the status will change from installation pending to installed. And the solution should be available in the Dynamics 365 environment. So after a few minutes, the Office 365 groups has been installed, as you can see the status over here. So let's just go ahead and look at our settings page again. So if I go to my settings page and and refresh this, I should be able to see Office 365 groups, which is now enabled and available over here. So if we click on this now, so this will take us to Office 365 group integration settings, where we can add all those entities for which you want the external users to have access to. So now what you need to do is click on add entity and select the entities for which you want to enable this feature. So in this example, let us use the account entity. And then you have a feature called auto create. It will create all the settings uh, automatically for this particular entity uh, and enable the Office 365 groups. If you don't do that, you have to go ahead and do it manually. So we can do that and then click on publish all. So once it is done publishing, let's click on accounts and then open any one account, let's say ADM Corporation. And for this particular account, you can click on related and you will see Office 365 groups is available over here. So when I click on Office 365 groups, it will take us to the welcome page for the Office 365 groups. And since I use the auto create options, uh, so the settings are already available for start conversation, viewing groups, using the calendar or collaborate anywhere. So all I need to do is I can create a new group or I can search for an existing group. So right now I will try to keep the same name as the account and click on create. And this will take a few minutes to create the Office 365 group. All right, now this opens up a collaboration page for this particular entity and this particular record. Now, 
in this case we have chosen the account entity but this can be anything leads opportunities any entity that you like so it op opens up um, a collaboration page where the crm users can collaborate with non-crm users so we have certain sections where you can have access to the calendar so over here you can schedule meetings add calendars invite people and share the calendars with uh, uh, with others in the group and then there is a conversation uh, area as well now this conversation is not yammer or skype or anything it's a separate conversation that takes place between the crm and non-crm users if so if you are not a crm user you will see these conversation as mails then again you have an area where you can uh, link your notebook uh, where you can write uh, your notes uh, related to your conversation or the group and uh, then you can also attach documents your OneDrive documents and if there are any email attachments that will be shown over here and of course you can add members or you can remove members uh, from here as well so basically you can have uh, a collaboration page where you can collaborate with crm users or non-crm users and use uh, all the features that are available in office 365 so you can view all this within crm however all this data is maintained um, in the office 365 and my environment especially in the sharepoint which is in the background so this is a good feature why don't you go ahead and try it out for yourself thank you for watching this video if you like the video please give it a big thumbs up do share your comments and do not forget to subscribe to the channel tech dynamics bye bye